Welcome to your AI skills. In this video, I am showing a comparison of Midjourney version 4 versus version 5. I would compare a set of images for you in this video, which will help you better understand which version is right for you. So let's get started. I created this image using version 4. The prompt for was neon watercolor painting of Jupiter on an empty background. The AI added stars in the background air, liquid color flowing from Jupiter, which was unexpected. As I did not include it in the prompt. Basically, I did not expect this, but this is what it made and I was happy with the result. See this Jupiter image on how accurate it is artistically. The AI added stars to the image, but they were not given in the prompt. The version 4 created these extra details without me defining the details in the prompt. We can see the same prompt created by version 5, they are on a higher resolution, but it's blurred. Maybe they are still tweaking the version 5? Also, there are no stars in the background? Version 5 is highly accurate in comparison with version 4, but the image generated by version 4 is way better. Here I prefer version 4 over 5. The version 5 image of Jupiter is still blurry. Now I made some changes to the prompt. However, version 5 still generates the image worse than version 4. This is not what I want exactly. I want something similar to version 4. So I am making some more prompt changes. I added words like liquid color splash in the background behind Jupiter artistically. I added realistic stars in the background in the prompt. Honestly, I am not happy with any of these images created by version 5. The images have less amount of details. It looks like version 5 accurately sticks to the prompts. To get a better image, I am trying to add more word in the prompt. The third image is completely distorted. In the fourth image, Jupiter is not even centered. I upscale one image. But you can see the stars are not as what bit should be. I wrote realistic stars in the prompt, but they did not turn out the way I wanted it. The stars are blurry. And overall, the image is not like what I got in version 4. I experimented with the prompt further. These four Jupiter images are what I got with the new prompt. The third image was better in compared to the other images and the previous one. The fourth image is good. It's colorful, but the background is still plain black. After experimenting further, I added the same prompt with some extra keywords, like neon watercolor painting on a Jupiter background with realistic stars with a black background, insane details. Jupiter should be in the center and the keyword artistically. This was the exact prompt used for version 5 in the previous images shown. But when we go back to version 4, you can see it has done a way better job of generating the image than version 5. So basically I have to see how I can tweak more for version 5 to get similar results, but as of now, for this Jupiter artwork, I prefer version 4 over version 5. These images are generated in version 4. The prompt is very simple. The prompt just includes a simple sentence, Cosmos stuck in a bottle. These images are supposed to be artistic. Have a look at the fourth image. It is quite artistic. The AI has put a very nice background, even though I have not defined the background. Even the second image is nice. However, it has just put a landscape with a cosmos sky within the bottle. It's not that accurate, though. Artistically speaking, it's very nice. Having a look at the first image closely, the AI has messed it up. In my opinion, is not usable at all. The third image again is messed up and not usable, in my opinion. In my opinion, the fourth image is the best for what I want. It is very close to what I wanted, that's Cosmos in a bottle. The version 5 images are of high resolution. The AI 
has included accurately the cosmos inside the bottle. Comparing all the four images, I would choose the second image, since the AI has included a background behind the bottle and it artistically looks way better. So after playing around, what I have learned is that I should be very specific in the version 5 prompts compared to version 4 prompts. This is another artistic image, which I previously made with version 4. The prompt for these images are Galaxy Swirling Fantasy Wonderland, Galactic Tree in the Sky. It amazed me by what version 4 of Mid Journey could do for this. The prompt was very simple, and I really did not go about making a detailed prompt. When I ran the same prompt in version 5, the image it generated was amazing from an artistic point of view. For this prompt I would definitely go with version 5 rather than version 4. Version 5 has clearly done a way better job than version 4. Have a look at the images again. This is version 4. And this is version 5. These are realistic portrait photos that look like they have been taken from a DSLR. I know something about photography, it's a hobby of mine, so I could manage making such photos. The prompts for such portraits are quite complicated as I input the camera model, the f-stop aperture, ISO levels, and so on. They are extremely long and I won't go into details in this video. I created these images with Midjourney version 4. It is very accurate in terms of photography as to what I want and expect from Midjourney. I like the second image. In the first image, the eyes and the specs look a little fake, more like a 3D model. The second image is very realistic. In the third image, there is some deformity on the lips. The fourth image is again good except for the earrings, which have to be corrected. The same prompt used in version 5 is completely mind-blowing. The glasses are perfect, the reflection over the glasses is good. The images are stunning. They are more detailed, realistic. The bokeh is way better and represents an actual f-stop 1.2 bokeh from a DSLR. Bokeh is dreamy and smooth. Exactly how it should be. In the version 4 images, the bokeh is very good, but I wouldn't say it's like from an f-stop 1.2 aperture. The accuracy and details of these images are amazing. A regeneration or Photoshop can fix the distortion in the necklace area in this image. As you can see, the necklace is not complete. One more time comparing version 4. And here is version 5. I find making prompts for jellyfishes quite difficult in mid-journey. They are always messed up and don't come out as intended. There is a bit of a learning curve when creating prompts for jellyfishes. I won't go into the details about the jellyfishes prompts in this video. The current photo you are seeing is generated by version 4. It is pretty good, but check out the third image. It's completely pointless. There are some wave-like things around the jellyfishes, don't know what they are. The fourth image can be used, but for me personally, it is again pointless. Everything is gone to the right, and I cannot explain what these are exactly. Again, in the second image, there are some artifacts and the reflection is not accurate. Some correction is required for the second image. There are also some artifacts in the first image. You will need some skills to fix it if you want to use it. Better solution would be to keep regenerating till you get the right one. The same prompt which was used for version 4 were used for version 5. The results were amazing. There is a vast difference between version 5 and version 4 here. I noticed a slight mistake in the first image, but I can correct it in Photoshop. There is another image regenerated using the same prompt. There are some issues here as well. The first image is too cluttered and you can make different variation for it though. The second image is usable but again there are some lines which can be edited in Photoshop. 
Then the third image also has some lines coming from the top. As I said earlier, it's difficult to make jellyfish prompts in mid-journey. The fourth image is the only one usable with no edit. But overall the quality of version 5 is much better than version 4. I created this image prompt by using ChatGPT. I will show how it can be done in a separate video. The prompt is a cyberpunk cityscape with vibrant auroras lighting up the night sky. The prompt includes words like neon lights, towering skyscrapers, futuristic atmosphere, so and so forth. This is a single image generated with four variations. The problem here is the AI has put a human scale figure in all four and only the third image has the correct figure. Rest of the images aren't proper. The third image it is satisfactory. But version 5 does a better job here. The results are extraordinary using the same prompt. The first image has some lines between the building. However, this can be edited. The second image is the best although it is not from a street view. The third image the AI generated, the streets are filled with water. So not sure how usable is that? The fourth image is very usable, but there is a single black artifact connecting the two buildings. Again, some edit is required. Overall, I prefer version 5 over version 4. The next image we have is of skulls. The image uses a simple prompt a skull completely engulfed in a garden of multicolored flowers, rendered in Unreal Engine 5 with glowing lights. This is the version 4 image. The glow is subtle and these images are very good. The close-up focus, then bokeh, the lighting all are very good. Let me show you what happens when I use the same prompt in version 5. The images are a complete mess in version 5. The glow is overblown, I do not know why the skulls are metallic. Apparently, I find the images of very poor quality. It looks like it has taken my exact wording and overblown everything, but not in a good way. I tried regenerating the image to see if there are any changes, but all are of the same style. Now let's more on to another style. These are made in version 4. If you don't look at the version 5, these are very good on their own. However, version 5 does the job slightly better and you can see the improvement between the two with this prompt, even though it's subtle. The skulls have different colors. The skull in the first and the fourth image has a glossy look, while in the second and third images the finish is mostly matte. The different variety given on a single prompt is better in version 5. Let move on to the next set of images. For the next set of images, I was going for a minimalistic style of wallpaper. The prompt for this is very simple stunning realistic soft yellow flower minimalistic with big empty black background. The result in version 4 is completely amazing. You can see how well it has generated the flowers with details and the lighting is excellent. It generated the exact images I wanted even though the prompt is a one-liner. I have not used a detailed prompt over here. Here is the version 5. Images are not at par. There is no comparison here, to be honest. Just look at the images. What I did was I regenerated another batch using the same command prompt in version 5. Well, over here at least the first image is decent rest are again subpar. Let's just move on to the last set of images. For the last images, I wanted to try vector and see if there is any difference between the two versions. Well, there actually is. The prompt for this is long, not as long for the photograph images. But still long. To keep it short, it's basically a flat cartoon-style illustration of a nature scene that features a serene river flowing. The version 4 is pretty good here. All the images are wonderful. Except the fourth image. I don't find the trees accurate in that. Maybe different variations would fix it. But again it vector, so you can give a pass to it. Now let's see the generation in version 5. 
The version 5 looks a bit faded. There is an easy Photoshop fix for that. The version 5 is softer, the tree are more accurate. Except for the third image which had two images in one, don't know why, all the other three images are excellent. I find the version 5 images more pleasing to the eye. The version 4 had stronger shadows and contrast. To be honest, version 4 or version 5, it's a matter of taste here. Personally, I prefer version 5. To conclude, we recommend using version 5 and 4 both. For us, on some prompts the version 5 was better and on the other ones version 4 was better. So if you don't get an image as per what you thought of, try switching the versions, at least for now. Let us know in the comments below which version are you using and which one works for you better. If you have watched till here, thanks. Please, like and subscribe, hit the bell notification to receive notification as soon as we upload a new video.